Hello everybody, it's Kim. Today we're going to do an unboxing on an Anna Griffin Impress die cutting and embossing machine. I just purchased this off of HSN. They had uh, a couple of days of uh, one of their craft weeks and they only do that a couple of times a year and I ended up seeing this and it was back in stock so I decided it was time to buy it. So I'm going to just open the box and we're going to go through it see what's in it and we'll get it up and running. You got to watch this. Instructions. Two cutting plates. And this is the little metal shim. And this is the little magnetic shim. And then this is for just doing the embossing. Looks like we've got an embossing folder here that says it is lattice and then we also have dies and this looks like it's real pretty and in Anna Griffin style it is very ornate everything she creates for herself is very ornate and beautiful got our cord and pretty heavy One of the reasons I wanted to purchase this one and sell my old one is because this one here, my Vagabond, they only can go in one direction and sometimes I've gotten dies that are a little bit larger and I'm not able to put them in there. But just looking at it now, it does have a carry handle so if you need to take it from place to place, like maybe you store it until you're using it. It has got the power button on, the run button, and then a reverse button going to plug in the power cord and I do like that this comes off so it makes it a little easier to store so let's open the plate and the nice thing is, now my dies can go in this way or this way. Open up the die. There's an embossing folder. And it looks like it's pretty fancy. Um, it is lattice. So here is for the die embossing. Here is the magnetic. Mat. This is really thick. See that? Here's a metal shim. And then here's the other cutting plate. One of the things that they did talk about is being able to keep these flat. And with the force that this one has, they generally do not warp like the other ones do. So I'm going to turn this this way so we can see it in and out both directions here and I'm going to take and use the embossing folder first I'm gonna put the shim down put the bottom plate down Let's try the dies. It's like a big sandwich here. We're going to put the metal shim down. Then we're going to put the mat down, the magnetic mat. This is going to end up holding this. I'm going to put the die down.
now I'm going to place my paper right on top of the die. And I'm going to put my top cutting plate down. And we're going to send this through the machine. Make sure everything is straight. Press run. have a one-year warranty on it. Well, I think this turned out pretty. Yes. So you can see it a little better. And wouldn't all that be pretty on a birthday card? There's a lot of sandwiches to make with this. So you can die cut. You can emboss with a die cut. And that's when you would use the little rubber mat and you would place that on top of your die. You can just emboss with a folder. We're going to do some random cutting here. It's going to take a little bit to be able to know exactly what pieces to use for what. So we're just going to practice and play a little bit. So I'm going to turn this on, and hit run, push it in until it catches. And just look at how cute this little thing is. It turned out really nice. Let's try something different. Let's emboss with one of those die cuts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the metal shim. And we're going to put that little die cut back on here. Oops. And I'm going to put a little piece of paper on top of it. I'll choose this. And we're going to use that rubber band. This is perfect for doing dye embossing. We're not going to cut it. We're going to put an impression into the paper. So I'm going to press run. embossing with a folder, which we already did, but we'll do it one more time. We're going to use the metal shim, and we're going to put some paper into our embossing folder. Close that up, lay that down. The other thing, too, is to make sure that you keep one of your plates clean. This is going to be the one I'm going to use on the top all the time, and you can flip that back and forth, and this seems to do very little warping, but if you flip it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, it'll help keep that flat. So I'm going to go ahead and put the folder in, making sure everything is together. I'm going to hit run. This shows up pretty. Well, I'm pretty impressed. I think this turned out to be a pretty good purchase for me. So I'm going to do one more little impression here. Let's do the butterfly. sandwich is correct? We'll find out. Here is our pretty little butterfly. I think I would recommend this. The nice thing too is 
the mats, all the shims are marked so that your plate A, there's two plate A's. The one I'm going to keep nice and clean and then the one I'm going to use back and forth, back and forth as my top plate. The shim will get used for everything except for die cutting, which makes sense. When you're die cutting, you're going to use the magnetic mat because you're going to be putting a magnetic piece onto that to hold it flat. Then you use your paper and then your top plate. If you want to emboss with a die cut, we are going to... Sometimes you can tape these down too if you want to make sure that they haven't moved around. Because I know sometimes these are kind of hard to keep in place. I just flipped my, my plate A. I'm going to press run. I had a big shot a while ago and I also have had my Vagabond. So there's a very nice deep impression of the word birthday, which would be perfect on a card. So there's definitely going to be a learning curve on this because of the last two that I have had, but I think that this um, is probably going to be a pretty good item to have around. I did pay, I believe it was $238 for this. On two is out, and this takes up about as much space when it's not in use, the Vagabond opens up, and so you need to have a, a big space in order to use it. Where I'm gonna be putting it over on my uh, Cricut table over there, this will work out perfect. The Gemini is another one I was very interested in, but it's nearly $600, which is way more than I'm willing to spend on something like this. But I think for the price, I think this is gonna be pretty simple to get to understand. I think for $238, I think it was a great deal. So let me know what you think. If you've bought one or you've tried one, let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Zip tie it, pull your loop up.